Welcome back, guys, and today we are covering a 2014 horror sci-fi film called As the Gods Will. Spoilers ahead! At the beginning, we're shown the faces of three students, Shun, Amaya, and Ichika, as a voiceover plays in the background of a student complaining to God about his dull and boring life. The next day, we're taken to the student's school where a Daruma doll has forced them into playing a game of red light, green light, which the penalty of losing is death. If the doll sees someone moving, it explodes their heads and numerous marbles come out of the dead one's bodies, making movement for the others hard. Seeing this, Shun prays to God to return to his old boring life to him, but in vain. As the game continues, Shun's classmates slowly start dying one by one as they're seen by the Daruma doll while moving. A gamer of the class explains that the Daruma doll has a button on its back. To win the game, they probably have to press it without being seen moving by the doll. Shun notices a timer above the button and alerts the others, saying they don't have much time. Many of the classmates thus rush to press the button, but the doll turns every time it senses movement and kills anyone it sees. The game continues for a while and each and every classmate except Shun and the gamer are killed. Moreover, the ground is now completely covered with marbles, thus reaching the doll without slipping is impossible. The gamer comes up with a plan. He tells Shun to step on him and the corpses and quickly press the button. As the time nears the end, Shun musters some courage and jumps over the people. He successfully presses the button, thus ending the game. The survivors start celebrating their victory, but the doll explodes the gamer's head, leaving Shun as the only survivor. The doll tells him that he's the only victor as he's the one who pressed the button. Shun looks at the corpses of all of his classmates, horrified. We're taken back in time when life was boring and everything was normal. Shun, who seems extremely fed up with his life, sits in his living room playing video games. When the game ends, he sighs, unable to take the boredom, and starts changing TV channels. At school, he meets up with his gamer friend. Another one of Shun's friends passes by him and smiles at him. The gamer tells Shun he should ask Ichika out. Shun tells him that he doesn't have such feelings for Ichika and she's just a friend. They both then walk to class. On their way to school, they see Amaya, the school bully, beating up a few boys. The gamer remarks they're having fun and they both go to class. While Shun is sleeping in his class, a loud sound wakes him up. He notices that his teacher's head exploded and in its stead appears the Daruma doll. After this, we're brought back to the present. Shun is standing amidst piles of dead bodies. The doll tells him he's a mouse and a cat is coming soon. Shun stares at the doll, baffled. Ichika comes to Shun's class and opens the door. After seeing the dead bodies, she gets alarmed and falls back. Shun rushes out to Ichika and asks where everyone else from school is. Ichika tells him that she wanted to save all of her classmates, so she walked to the doll in her class bit by bit and pressed the button, but instead of saving them, she ended killing them all. Shun tells her that his friend was killed because of him as well. They try to call the police, but find no signal. They then try to flee the school, but all the doors and exits are locked. While wandering the school, they reach a play area and see that numerous other students who are also present there, clad in mice costumes. They look at the floor and find the word, find the cat's bell for it to end, written on it. The school president approaches them and tells them to get in the mice costumes. Just then, the ground starts shaking and a huge plastic cat emerges from underground. The cat starts gobbling up the mice one by one, which wrecks havoc amongst the students and they all start running for their lives. Shun spots a bell on the ground with a timer on it. He looks over at the cat and notices a hoop around its neck. Shun alerts the students and tells them that to save themselves, they have to score a goal. The school's basketball player throws a basketball through the hoop. After realizing he can easily shoot through the hoop, he asks Ichika to pass the bell. Ichika passes him the bell and he shoots. However, the cat stops the bell and throws it at him, sending him flying into a wall, killing him instantly. All pandemonium breaks loose among the students as they realize their death is now evident. Shun realizes the cat is only killing people dressed as mice and tells everyone to remove their costumes. Everyone follows Shun's advice and gets out of the costumes. For a while, it appears to have worked. The cat looks around but doesn't attack anyone. However, a moment later, it gobbles up another student. The student starts screaming and running again. While running, Ichika falls to the ground. Shun quickly gets into the mouse costume and tries to distract the cat. He realizes that the mouse costume enables them to hear the cat. The cat tells him it has an itch on its back. Shun gets on its back and starts scratching it. He tells the other students to do the same. Thus, they all scratch it and the cat falls asleep. Now that the cat is asleep, Shun grabs the bell and advances towards it to score the goal. The other students, however, think that the one who scores the goal will be the only victor. They all start fighting over the bell. Meanwhile, the cat wakes up again and starts attacking the students. Shun comes up with a plan. He takes Ichika inside and wraps the bell up in a regular ball with mice costumes. They shoot the balls through the hoop. The cat gets confused, unable to understand which one to stop. Thus, the bell reaches the hoop without a hurdle. Unfortunately, the bell doesn't go through the hoop. Another boy called Amaya suddenly appears and scores a goal immediately. The cat then declares Amaya, Ichika, and Shun the winners of the game. Shun asks what will happen to the others, but before they can answer, Amaya kills all the losers. Amaya says that only the strongest of them will survive, that is God's will. Amaya tells Shun that he and Shun are alike as they have what it takes to survive. Ichika tells Amaya that Shun is far better than him and he is stronger, smarter, and kinder. 
Amaya is infuriated by this and advances at Ichika with a knife, but the cat expels a gas from its mouth, which knocks them all out. All around the country, the media is shown reporting these terrifying deaths as terrorist attacks, while the others present their theories of alien invasions. As some homeless men sit listening to the radio, the radio malfunctions. Another homeless man approaches them and touches the radio, and immediately makes it start working again. The media reveals that the survivors of these incidents are being called God's children because of their abilities to have enabled them to survive in touch situations. It's also revealed that the survivors are being taken away in a huge flying cubes which nobody has been able to open despite all kinds of tries. Shun wakes up in one of the cubes. Among the other survivors, he finds Takumi, his childhood friend. Along with them, a very intelligent and arrogant student and a very shy and timid girl are also present in the cube. Shun gets up and tries to get out of the cube, but the arrogant student tells him that only winning the next game can get them out. He tells him that the winners of the game will be considered God's children and that he, because of his extraordinary brain, will of course be one. Through a screen, they're told that they have to find keys to escape. Just then, a door opens and wooden dolls come through it. They tell the students the rules of the new game. The students will sit blindfolded and the dolls will circle them singing songs. When the song stops, the students will have to tell the name of the doll behind them. The game starts and the arrogant one is the first to go. The dolls blindfold him and move around him singing a song. When they stop, he isn't able to correctly name the one behind him. The dolls take over his body and make him bash his head on the ground until he dies. They then move to the timid girl. She tries to avoid the game first, but when the dolls threaten to kill her, she agrees to play. However, she is also not able to name a doll once again, and the game ends and they kill her by tackling over her body. The dolls approach Takumi next, but Shun asks to go first. Shun manages to trick the doll behind him to speak before the time ends. Thus, he names it correctly and wins the game. The dolls explode, leaving behind a key, which Shun grabs and goes outside with Takumi. Outside, they see a guy being chased by another scary doll. The guy comes to them and tells them to hold hands so the doll can't hurt them. They follow his advice and the doll leaves. Shun looks at the cup handle Takumi is wearing and has a flashback. In the flashback, Takumi goes to a rooftop to commit suicide. She sees Shun there, smashing crockery into the wall to vent his anger. He offers her a cup to do the same. She nears him and starts breaking the crockery with him, which makes her feel much better. Presently, she's wearing the cup's handle around her neck. Ichika comes to the group, running from the scary doll. In a different room, they find two boys who tell them that the seven keys are required to open the gate to escape. They count the keys and realize they only have four. In the meantime, Amaya arrives holding the boy's hand with three more keys. As soon as he reaches the gate, he kills the other boy, saying he no longer needs him. They all use the keys to open the door and are sent for the next game. Here we learn that all games are being shown live to the country. The survivors are sent into an icy room where they see a huge plastic polar bear. The bear tells them that they will be playing a game of truths. The one who lies will be killed. The bear asks them all their favorite food. When they reply, a guy is suspected of lying. The bear asks them to name a person they think is lying and they name him. Thus, the boy is killed. Next, the bear asks who in the room likes Shun, to which all those who know Shun, including Takumi, say they like him. The others who don't know Shun say they don't. The bear says that one of them is a traitor who's lying to make them lose. The participants come to the conclusion that Takumi could like Shun since they haven't been in contact for years. Shun tries to stop them, but they name Takumi and she is killed. Broken by the losses of his friends, Shun tells the bear that the traitor and liar is none other than himself. This turns out to be the truth. The bear dies and the game ends. The survivors are taken to the last game. Wooden dolls congratulate them for making it this far and then dictate the rules. One of them will be chosen as a demon and the others will be victims. The victims will hide from the demon. The demon will have to place a can on the ground and then find all the victims. He will name them after seeing their faces and bring them to the prison cell. If the demon locates them all and kicks the can, he will be the winner. However, if a victim manages to kick the can, the other victim will be considered the winners and the demon will lose. The victim who kicks the can, however, will die. They use sticks to choose the demons and Amaya gets chosen. He places a can on the ground and starts looking for the others. Amaya manages to easily grab two players and locks them in the prison cell after beating them severely. He then goes after Shun and Ichika. Ichika presents herself to Amaya to save Shun's life. Amaya takes her to the prison cell and shouts to a hidden Shun that Amaya does not need to catch him to win the game and if Shun wants to win as well, he should stay hidden. Shun comes out anyways wearing armor to hide his face. Amaya ridicules him for this, saying he can easily take off his helmet and name him. He then proceeds to walk towards him and pulls off his helmet. Shun attaches the armor's chain to Amaya and reveals that the armor is not meant to keep him hidden. Shun then jumps into the water, dragging Amaya with him. Amaya tries to pull the armor back up with all of his might, but Shun, who had managed to get out of the armor, climbs back up and weakly walks to the can to kick it. Amaya manages to break free of the chain and races Shun to the can. They both run into it, but Shun manages to kick it before Amaya. They prepare themselves for the explosion, but it 
doesn't happen. The dolls then declare the game over and name everyone except Amaya as winners. They reveal that they had lied about the explosion part to make the game more interesting. Amaya grabs one of the dolls in rage and says he cannot die as he has been chosen by God. The dolls start laughing and said nobody was supposed to die, they just wanted to play. The dolls then start laughing hysterically. The survivors look at the sky which slowly gets decorated by fireworks. The dolls give them ice cream to celebrate. They watch the fireworks and eat the ice cream. While eating the ice cream, Shun gathers up his courage and asks Ichika out. Ichika gladly agrees. When their ice cream sticks are visible, they see that they have something written on them. The dolls reveal that though they have made it this far, to be the winner they need luck. Amaya and Shun notice that their sticks say you live, while the other sticks say you die. A doll then kills the others including Ichika. Shun watches with wide eyes as Ichika disappears into nothingness in front of him. Shun and Amaya are then brought back to the ground where the people welcome them excitingly calling them legends. Shun Shun starts to deny the existence of God after this, but the doll tells him that he is wrong, that God does exist. The same homeless man from earlier is shown, indicating that he was God. Shun looks over at him, and the film ends. Drop a comment below letting me know how you found the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching, guys!